Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a, another video. Very glad that you are here. Today's topic, shift your perspective. Your whole life will change. So, of course, we're going to jump right in. And, man, it's so funny how things work out. I didn't do a video yesterday. I felt kind of burnt out a little bit, wanted to chill. Um, and it actually ended up being a good decision. But then today, as I sat down writing, I was just getting blasted with downloads. So I actually have two videos. I'm going to do two of them today. I uh, probably won't release them both today. But anyways, this is the first one that came to me about shifting your perspective. And this came because what I want you to understand is life is about contrast. We live in this 3D reality of two sides, duality is what we call it in spirituality, right? We've got hot and cold. We've got light and dark. We've got good and bad. We've got male and female. We've got up and down. We've got left and right. We live in a world of opposites. And that is the dualistic 3D reality that we live in. And transcending that in a spiritual sense is reaching 5D consciousness and eventually enlightenment, of course, right? Where the, the lines are one and the same. We reach this level of unity and wholeness. So what does this have to do with perspective and how it affects your life? If you look at your life circumstances, if you're in an undesirable situation, or even if everything's going great in your life, it's the ebbs and the flows. Everything goes up and it goes down. But especially if you're in or when we are in difficult circumstances, meaning we uh, aren't making the money we want to make, uh, our relationships suck, maybe you're single and you really want a partner or whatever it is, you're in a difficult life circumstance. I want you to understand that the, there's so much power in the position that you're in because it's your perspective, it's your way that you're viewing the situation that's either going to empower you or cripple you. Here's what I mean. Here's a perspective change. You think that life is happening to you, that you're in this victim mentality, that all this bad stuff that my wife cheated on me, that I lost my job and it's all happening to me and the universe and the world is against me. What if this isn't life happening to you, but it's happening for you to teach you lessons to go towards a different path, what you're actually meant for? So while it seems like you're a victim and life is beating you down, life is actually happening for you and you're in, in a situation of contrast where you're experiencing these undesirable circumstances in your life, not so that you can get beat up and think, oh God, life's against me, it's all terrible, but so that you can be pointed into the direction of life that you should be going. You, it's pointing you towards the partner that you should be with by clearly showing you in a painful way what you don't want to be living. You've been wanting to get out of that job for the past 15, 20 years. You ended or 10 years, five years, whatever, even a year, and you got laid off. And you think, oh, woe is me, it's all them, blah, 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 I'm a victim, it's because this. No, this is what you asked for. You're being shown a different way and by experiencing a painful contrast of what you don't want, you're being led to a greater direction on what you do want. This is a shift in perspective. So you can view it as it happen, life's happening to me or life is happening for me and I'm being guided to a greater destiny, to a greater purpose, what I'm really meant for, to a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling and abundant life. It's all how you're viewing it, your shift in perspective. If you think, you know, your goal is to go and work out, right? And you're like, oh God, I have to go to the gym today. I have to? or I get to go to the gym today. You know how many people, and I've used this example before, are paraplegic, quadriplegic, uh, have XYZ conditions, and they are stuck in a hospital bed right now, and they would do anything in the world to be able to get to go and work out and take care of their body because they're experiencing the contrast of what it's like to not be able to use your body. Everyone's been sick before. Even if you've had a cold or a stomach flu and you've been down, you know how many, uh, like imagine yourself, you're bedridden or you've been puking and had diarrhea for two days. We've all been there, right? We're human. You've been sick. You probably would have given anything at that point to feel better. So good to where you had the opportunity to get to go to the gym today to take care of your body. So you see what I'm saying? It's all a lesson in contrast by experiencing what you don't want. 
it makes you grateful for what you do want and points you towards what you're meant for and what would really serve you so that you can live a happier, healthier, more fulfilling, abundant life with an amazing partner, with tons of money, with a purposeful, soul-filling business, all these things. Each challenge, trauma, crappy situation, it's happened to teach you many lessons. And again, it's about contrast, the hot and the cold, the light and the dark. If you live in the rain the whole time, up in Seattle, we'll say, it's beautiful when you get out in the sun those couple summer months you get and it's so beautiful because you've been in the rain for so long when the sun comes out it's amazing if you're like me and you're like in the sun all the time it's wonderful when you get to go to the snow in the winter because you've been in the snow it's a it's an experience of both worlds the hot and the cold the light and the dark literally right the climate that you're in it's so humid where you're at so you're finally one it's wonderful to be in temperate weather you know, in Southern California where I'm from, I miss it. But then me living in Southern California for so long, I never really didn't take it for granted. I always enjoyed it. But then when I come out into an environment like I'm in, it makes me appreciate what I used to have even more. So whatever circumstances your life are in right now, you're super busy. You're going to relish that free time that you have. Okay. Whatever undesirable circumstances you're in or desirable circumstances you're in, you're in Hawaii on vacation right now watching this video. It makes you that much more grateful for the current circumstances you're in, knowing that you're going to have to go back to work and move, go back to, I don't know, whatever, Texas or Maine or I don't know, wherever you're at, right? But by understanding that you're in such an amazing place, it makes you that much great, more grateful because you have the perspective so it's how you frame things in your mind that's the power that will really give you power in the lessons that you're in. And it can change your whole life and perspective. And I know when we're triggered and in undesirable circumstances and we're emotionally triggered and you're like, ah, this is all BS, you're full of crap, you're stupid, Pierce, you don't get how much pain I'm in or how broke I am, I'm living out of my car, or my you know husband cheated on me with his secretary, whatever it is, you know, screw you, you don't know nothing. I don't. I'm just offering a way for you to view things differently that may benefit you and again, help you see the silver lining as to what your current circumstances are offering. So your husband just cheated on you and you're like in a shit ton of pain, I get it. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't, I can't quite understand. I've never, I haven't experienced that. I haven't been married. I haven't had any, you know, my spouse cheat on me. If that, right, this is all hypothetical, but maybe it resonates with you. But now you know what you clearly want in a partner for your next relationship years down the line when you're ready to start dating again or whatever the case may be for you. But by it, the point is, by experiencing what you don't want, it helps you clarify what you do want. By experiencing what you don't want, it helps you clarify what you do want. It's a shift in perspective. By currently experiencing what you do want, it makes you so much more grateful because you remember what it was like when you didn't have this. So it's a shift in your perspective. I have to go and do this. I have to go and pick up my kids from school. No, you get to go and pick up your kids from school. They're healthy, they're getting an education. You get to, you get to spend time with them. Yeah, you're busy, you're stressed. So learn to manage your stress, but it's a gift, it's a blessing because when they leave the house, you're gonna think back to that day. Man, I remember when I used to go um, pick up Katie, you know, um, from middle school and we would go and uh, just get like a Starbucks and just talk for a little bit. Now she's grown, she's a grown woman, she's in her 20s, she's in college, I miss those days. So it's how we frame things, our perspective and our mind that can shift your entire world and help you become a more grateful, centered individual. In the world of duality, when we center ourselves in the center, well, we're just that, we're centered and we're able to see two sides and appreciate both things. And also, when we're in the center, now we can easily empathize and see both sides of the argument and the perspective, regardless of if we choose to take a side or not. Centered, duality, perspective change. By experiencing what you don't want, it leads you to what you do want. When you are experiencing what you do want, it makes you even more grateful more, more grateful, and makes those beautiful moments more juicy because you remember what it was like when you were super sick, laid up in bed for three or four days. Now you're looking forward to getting back in the gym, to eating right, taking care of your body because you understand how important that is because you were laid up in bed, you know, with freaking 
man, with the stomach bug and the fever and et cetera, et cetera. And now you're like grateful for it. And now you relish the opportunity, even though it's difficult to go and sweat and lift weights or whatever you're doing. Each crappy situation shows you in a painful way exactly what you don't want, guiding you to what you do want. So if you don't know what to do, and this is another beautiful part of it, if you're lost in life right now and you're like, God, man, my life is so terrible, it's so crappy, I don't even, but I don't even know what I want. You probably don't know what you want because you don't think it's possible. So here, if you don't know what you want in life, this is especially powerful. You don't know what you want in your life and your circumstances are crappy, understand that this is pointing you towards what you do want. This is the gift. You don't know what you want in life. And life is so crappy right now, you can't even think of it. Well, that is the silver lining. Your life's so crappy right now and you're unhappy. It's showing you exactly what you do want, which is the complete opposite of what you're experiencing. So this is clarifying the direction and the path that you can go to start building momentum towards. You're not a victim. You're a powerful co-creator dancing with the universe to create the life that you want. And this situation is showing you what you don't want so you can work towards what you do want. Now, there are some blocks that may come up if you're listening to me and you go, this is all BS, man. This isn't what I do want doesn't even seem possible. This is also a wonderful gift. It's illuminating, enlightening you to what your limiting beliefs are. Your limiting beliefs are that I don't think that's possible because my current life circumstances are so crappy. So it's showing you how your belief system is what is limiting you from going towards what you want. Yeah, Pierce. I don't want this. My life sucks. I want that. Okay. But I don't think it's possible because my current life circumstances. That's your limiting belief. That's what's blocking you from getting what you want. You don't think it's possible because you're basing what you do want in the future off of your current circumstances. So you don't think it's possible. So, yeah, Pierce, I don't want this. I don't want this life I'm living. I want that life but I don't think that's possible. That's you letting your current circumstances and your past dictate your future, which is just recreating the same cycle and recreating the same life circumstances. You don't think it's possible. You can't get past your past and your current life circumstances. Again, this is showing you what you need to work on, what you get to work on, which will lead you towards the life that you want. So how do we fix it? If that's where you're at, you have to reprogram your beliefs, your belief systems. All beliefs are, guys. Beliefs are simply thoughts that have been thought over and thought over. And that same thought came up and that same thought came up. And that same thought was now reinforced by life experiences. Because you thought that same thought over and over... You created experiences in your life to reinforce that thought. And after time, thinking those thoughts over and having the same experiences reinforce those thoughts, now it's a belief. Now you've become that belief. So we have to reprogram the belief. So here's the thing. You created those beliefs by thinking the same thought and then manifesting those life circumstances that made it a belief. And this may have been your entire life and maybe they weren't your thoughts and beliefs to begin with they were your parents thoughts and they created those external circumstances and it became your belief so you've got x amount of many years 15 20 30 40 50 60 70 years of having this belief system so is it going to happen overnight for you to just change your beliefs no now you're going to have to start thinking new thoughts over and over the thoughts that you want the empowering thoughts over and over and then you're gonna have to start creating and you will create if you start to think the thoughts that you want. You will create new experiences that reinforce the positive thoughts. And over time, those positive thoughts and rethinking those thoughts over and over and creating positive experiences to reinforce those new empowering thoughts will become new empowering beliefs. That's all it is. But it's hard ass work because it's a lot of repetition overcoming your ego and self-awareness and it's levels and it's two steps forward and one step back and oh I screwed up and no you didn't this means you're doing the right thing because every time you go forward your ego is going to want to pull you back and keep you safe but you got to keep going so the fix to now you've changed your perspective or begun to becoming enlightened lighting 
the darkness and lightening your thoughts. You become aware of your limiting beliefs and your perspectives. So now we reprogram those beliefs, shift your perspective, and just like the analogy I've used a million times, you learn a foreign language, you swing a golf club, uh, you learn a new skill, you learn how to paint, it takes practice. Over and over, it takes practice, guys. We gotta do this, we're doing it together. So you reprogram those beliefs. Beliefs are simply thoughts that have been repeated over and over and reinforced by life experiences. But you created those experiences. But here's the thing, you can uncreate them or create new ones over that. You gotta own it, then understand you can reprogram your beliefs. It will take time because you've thought a certain way for X amount of many years and have X amount of many experiences backing those beliefs up. So now we just do it a different way. Now you think the new empowering thoughts, now you create new empowering experiences to reinforce those new empowering thoughts. They become empowering beliefs, they become you. Now your reality changes. That's how we do this. You do it over and over. It's hard work, but like anything that's hard work, it's worth it. It's not easy to get in shape. It's simple to, you eat right, you work out. It's not easy to. It's simple, the idea is simple, it's not difficult, but it's not easy to do, it's challenging. But when you do that, and you look in the mirror and your clothes off it, and you're like, God damn, that was worth it. So the quotes I leave you with today, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Dr. Wayne Dyer, rest in peace. The other one is from Stephen R. Covey. To change ourselves effectively, we first have to change our perceptions. I wasn't going to do a card reading on this one, or maybe it was the second video, but I'm being called to, so we'll do one. So, tap three times to clear the energy. Ask for the purest and most divine truth. My highest good, your highest good, and the highest good of all. What are we talking about when we talk about how we're changing our beliefs and our perspectives? So, we got two of them. Another quote that came up right now that I'll share with you is from Albert Einstein. I didn't write this one down, but I remember this one. You can't solve a problem with the same mind that created the problem. What does that mean? You have to shift your perspective. Your level of consciousness and perception, the way that you were, that created the problem. And it's your problem, it's your life. These are your problems, you created them. Whether you want to admit it or not. And if you don't want to admit it, that's your first thing. You have to own it that I created this problem. Because that's the only way that you'll get to the point where you're like, well, if I created it, I can uncreate it or create a different result. So the same mind that created the problem is not the same mind that will solve the problem. You have to shift your perspective into a different mind, get a different angle, get a different viewpoint. Think about a photographer taking a picture. They don't like the way that the mountain looks. You're not gonna move the mountain, you have to change the angle, you have to change the lighting. Now all of a sudden you get a whole different picture, you change his perspective. <clears throat> I'm only gonna do one and this is the first one. So, solutions. Archangel Zadkiel. Please look at the picture. If anything sticks out, reflect on that. Success that comes from objective compromise. Self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. Forgive the past. Shift your perspective on how you're viewing the problem. <clears throat> I'm like this because my mom treated me this way. Yeah, she did and it sucked. And you didn't deserve all that but shift your perspective. You were a victim at that time because you, you were a child. You couldn't have helped it. But how do you shift that into a powering belief, into an empowering perspective so that it's no longer holding you back? Man, she treated me that way. But the gift is now that I have kids of my own, I will never treat my kids that way. And I'm so grateful because now I've learned how to be an amazing mother because of how I was treated by my mother. Shift your perspective. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience. Be gentle and patient with yourself as you do this process of perspective change. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Uh, extended meaning, <clears throat> Archangel Zadkiel is working with you to find the perfect balance. The key to success right now is in moderation and compromise. So if you're feeling stressed out, woo, excuse me. Whew, it's, kinda, it's a lot of oxygen going through me. All right. If you're feeling stressed out, this card counsels you to take a deep breath. There it is. And ask your angels and guides for assistance. Self-control and patience are called for in order to create a successful outcome you're hoping for. Shift your perspective, guys. 
self-control and patience, think about things differently, and you'll have the successful outcome that you're looking for. Consider the ideas of others, perspective shift, empathize, and try to see their point of view, perspective shift, emphasize, or empathize. Diversity of thought, perspective shift. Dude, I don't make this up. Diversity of thought can bring forth the strongest possible course of action. Reconciliation of opposing viewpoints is very likely now because you're seeing both sides, you're shifting your perspective. And if you approach all parties with a forgiving and fair attitude, seeing other people's perspective, empathize. Additional meanings of this card, <clears throat> a balanced approach, perfect orchestration, creative solutions through compromise, healing energy. Love you guys so much, that's what I got for you today. Shift your perspective when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Empowering beliefs, see it in a different light. By experiencing what you don't want, it shows you what you do want. And we start moving towards that. Love you guys. See you soon. Peace.